Okay, Key Stage 2, I hope you enjoyed the bit I read yesterday from this book, um, Kay's Anatomy. Um, so I've chosen to carry on talking about the gut, which we talked about yesterday, but can you see which bit I've picked? Yes, it's poo! I thought you'd like that bit. So it explains all about poo. Six years I trained at medical school, you know, and here I am writing a chapter about poo or faeces, if you'd rather use the scientific term. My parents must be so proud of me. But it's an important fact of life. We all poo. Film stars, singers, teachers, my dog. So, so often. Where is it all coming from? And it's absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm not denying it's strange. Every day we sit on a specifically designed piece of porcelain furniture and squeeze stuff out of ourselves making all kinds of weird and not so wonderful sounds and smells but it's the most natural thing in the world besides it has to come out of you there's no option otherwise you'd end up totally full of poo and eventually there would be an extremely messy explosion luckily no one is actually full of poo whatever the grown-ups in your life might shout at politicians on the telly as well as containing waste products from the food you eat your poo has a lot of water in it. In fact, poos are mostly made of water. Even the driest, hardest poo you've ever done was more than 50% water. The other surprising thing about your poo is it's alive. Don't panic. It isn't going to speak to you or fly around the room or splat you in the face, but it's still alive thanks to the hundreds of millions of bacteria. There's no need to worry, though, because these are the good bacteria that helped you digest your food. And how do we reward these good bacteria for their brilliant work? Well, we flush them down the toilet. So disrespectful. And the little picture you say, I'm not going to say this one, I'm going to say your bottom is well spotty. <laughs> and this little bit over here looks like a poo emoji, doesn't it? Poo shape. You might wonder why your poo is brown when you weren't eating brown food. Well, next time you're painting, try smushing all the colours together and you'll end up with brown. Added to that, the bile that comes out of your gallbladder makes the colour darker. In fact, having light coloured poo is the sign that there might be a problem with the liver or the gallbladder, stopping the bile from coming through. Sorry, I missed a page there. Um, I thought you'd like to hear about diarrhoea as well. Can anyone spell diarrhoea? Because it's really hard to spell. I think it's uh, come from the Greek, actually. I've got a feeling. Diarrhea means that your poo isn't hard. This is ironic because the word diarrhea is extremely hard. In fact, if it wasn't for autocorrect, I don't think I would ever spell it right. Ah, oh, that's what I just said. Why so many vowels? What's with the extra R? Anyway, if your poo is liquidy and it's coming more often than usual, it means that something's got in the way of your normal poo producing process and your large intestine isn't absorbing water like it should. It could be because you've caught a bug or maybe you've eaten something that's upset your insides or it could be the side effect of some medicine you've taken. Normally, diarrhoea settles down on its own, but you'll need to drink plenty of fluids to replace all the water that your bottom, I'm going to say, instead of that word, is squirting out the other end. Yeah, diarrhoea is pretty horrible. Um, we've all probably experienced it at some point and it usually means you're a bit poorly as well. So um, let's hope none of us get that. Now, the opposite of diarrhoea is constipation, which is also not very nice. Constipation is the opposite of diarrhoea and it means you're not pooing as often as normal. Everyone's normal is different. Some people go twice a day, some people go twice a week. But constipation means that things have slowed down in the toilet department. There are lots of reasons why this happens, such as not drinking enough water, not eating enough vegetables. See, I told you they're important and not doing enough exercise. For some people, it's because they didn't go to the toilet when they needed to. So, for example, if you're too embarrassed to go to school or in a public toilet, never ignore your body. If it's telling you to poo, then you need to poo. Correction, if your body tells you to cover yourself in chocolate icing, sit in the fridge and sing Christmas carols, you should probably ignore that. Poo, I don't feel like it. OK, I'm going to stop there for now and go on to another really exciting bit tomorrow. Bye for now.